have some roost training going on, mama and the babies. Look how big they're getting. <laughs> they're getting so big. So she's training them to be on the roost. Lately, she's been in the nest box with them. And, but look how cute they are. Oh, and they're getting feathered feet like their dad. Good job, mama. Good job training you babies. They all look like hens to me, except for that one there on the other side of her. That looks like a rooster to me. Mostly because of his comb. And he's big. I thought this white one was. But her tail is looking more like a hen. Her comb isn't as big as it was. So I'm hoping that the rest of them are hens and we'll deal with the rooster. Find him a new home or something. I don't need any more roosters. So I'll just explain a little bit what we're doing here. So we're adding loam to this area. This is at a very sandy spot. The chicken coop, chickens come out. This is where they dig around and scratch around. But there also is the line to the solar panels. Let me show you over here. So there's a box right there behind that, or conduit, I guess going into the house, which is where our solar panel uh, cords and, and uh, stuff are. And it goes down through here and underground all the way here and goes up to that conduit and that box right there, which is where our solar panels are. Good solar day today. Uh, so because the chickens scratch here and dig, we plow this in the winter time. We come through and plow. It makes it easier for us to get to the coop, to move around, to get rid of um, snow because we plow it through and we go 
push it down into the woods further when we get a lot of snow. Um, and it also makes it easier for when we clean off our panels. Sometimes they don't always, the snow doesn't always slide off, usually in the winter time. Right now we have the panels the way they are like this. In the winter time we have them up a little bit more so that the snow will shed a little bit easier and so that we can get a better uh, sun because the sun is lower in the sky in the winter time. So we change the panel uh, angle. So the snow usually falls off, it doesn't always. So uh, we have to come out with a big long brush that we have on an extension and just clean them off real quick. And then by the time the sun gets around, it melts it and it's good to go. So it makes it easier to plow through here and all that. So we end up plowing off some of the sand and I noticed one day that the chickens were digging around here and I could see the conduit that the um, that was coming from the box here underneath the ground. So we've we've plowed off and the chickens have scratched off enough so we get down to the conduit. We didn't want that. We want to make sure it's nice and covered. We don't want it to break. Uh, you know, the last thing we want is water to get in there and things to to happen so we're just adding a little bit of loam see if we can get some grass in here maybe uh, it also there's runoff when we get heavy heavy rains there's runoff down through here maybe we can uh, kind of disperse it so it doesn't look like a little riverbed that's dried up when it's done raining you can probably see a little bit here um, that I'm talking about and it drains off down in the garden which is fine but it is pulling off a lot of the sand that we need to cover up the the conduit here so we're just as a precaution we just bought oh, a few two or three lo uh, loads yards I guess of loam and so Scott's just bringing it up with a Kubota and uh, just spreading it out as best he can we'll probably take a rake and just kind of fix some of these spots here and yeah that's basically what we're doing with this. Not super exciting, but there's stuff on the homestead that has to be done. Um, and especially when we live off grid, we wanna make sure that our lines that are going into the house from the panels, everything's on the up and up and, and um, just is the way it's supposed to be so that we don't run into any trouble. I, that would be awful in the middle of the winter to have exposed wires and conduit and something get broken or wires get pulled out or something. So we're just going to put a nice thick layer of this loam down and hopefully we'll get some grass to grow if the chickens will leave it. But they probably won't because they're little stinkers. Here he comes with another load. So that's looking really good looking really good he's putting it on thick in the middle there he's going to get another load we're getting some awesome solar power today filling up those batteries and I don't know how long this beautiful dirt's gonna stay here the chickens will have it all mixed in but hopefully it helps with keeping it on top of that conduit. Get the perfect angle on those panels for the sun. Do 
is way up there somewhere it's just grabbing it all it's just grabbing it and just sucking it in it's going right down through and into the house it's charging really good let's see if my rain barrels full we've had a ton of rain it was full the other day but I used it to fertilize and water what garden I have which isn't much Oh yeah, she's, oh, yep. She's at the top. It was splashing over the side. Yeah, oh, she's full. She's so full. She's so full. After a country buffet. She's full of, full as if you went to a country buffet. <laughs> That's awesome. And that works great. We just have a hose run down to the garden. Not a hell of a lot of pressure, but enough so we can fill up like a uh, watering can and, and water and it works here he comes with another load 